Good Wednesday morning, YouTube, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Card Market Watch. So we went through a few things that again reprinted yesterday. Today we're going to go through a few things that are parts of those sets and how the the reprints of these have actually made prices either go up or down as prices do. Madolches, I believe, should probably be dropping in price in terms of all the cards that got reprinted. But everything that hasn't had a reprint, like Hoot Cake and uh, Chocolate. I, I feel like people are going to want to play it more, so the price is probably not bumping up all of a sudden. Alistair's might stop going a little bit more price, as that hasn't had a reprint. Madult, uh, Macabre hasn't had a reprint either, so I expect these cards to go up in price. But, uh, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, share if you can, and uh, let's just jump into it. So, let's start off with some hoot kick. So, the 2014 Megatin, which is super rare, currently sitting around the uh, 350 mark. Oh, I don't know much about my Dolce's, and I'm going to pretend I do. Since this is one of the more expensive cards, I'm going to pres presume this is actually something in the engine of my Dolce's. I don't really know what they do. Apparently they're actually quite good, so I probably should learn what they do. First English, in good condition, is 750. This shows you something happens when you don't reprint things too often. 12. For, no, 52, he says. Where's that working? 8, 8, 8, 16, 22. Yeah, 52. pounds. Yep. The postage is probably about 55. So, yeah. That's much needed. Could we do a reprint? Since the other one came out in the same sort of time frame. Um, Lords of Trachion Galaxy, which I think was also like a 2014... 2013 set. But uh, don't quote me on that, as I don't really know much about the early... Like, this is the period of time I didn't really have much to do with it. I, my time period is like... 2002 to like... 2010-ish and then I didn't play any Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time and then I started coming back again to about 2017-18-ish so yeah there's, there's a big chunk of Yu-Gi-Oh history where it's like I basically missed all of the XYZs and the start of the uh, links so yeah there's a lot of things that I just don't have any knowledge on in terms of like when things came out um, but yeah I mean if you're looking at the, uh, the other version it seems to be a bit cheaper can you see some Englishes what you're really going for in English. They're both super rare. Seven. Two. Can you get an English play set? Excuse me. Oh, excuse me indeed. If you get an English play set for less than uh, 52. There you go. New. Serious seller. So yes, there's your play set. Looking at 14. So. 42. Plus postage to say 45. 10 pound less. Same rarity. Not much difference, but... Uh, could definitely do the reprint if that's how we're getting things. But then, Madolce Chocolates. I always hear, like, this is a good common to pull. And I'm not massively sure what, again, I don't know what Madolce's do. But it's guys possessing the in your first card. Shuffle this card to your deck. What's the third? You don't you control has changed. And it's now face up. Well, this card is face up on the field, except you're on You can target one monster on the field. Change it to face up defense position. If you do, unless it's a Madolce monster, you can't attack also. I'm not, I'm not sure. That's good or bad. Maybe. maybe. So, both of the Chigolates are Covens. This is the more expensive version, apparently. I think it is. Um, but yeah, they're not massively expensive. The way people go out about these is like you thought these like one or two pound like Covens, but they're, uh, they're they're quite cheap. So both Covens. Yeah, but the same price range. Place it in English. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, place it here. Six pence. There you go. Plus postage, probably about four pounds. <laughs> we postage. Uh, Madolce Queen Telemasu. This is the Bungabis Ultra Rare. There is an Ultimate Rare version. That obviously is more expensive. But you are paying for a near mint, about five. Now, I don't know how many you play this in your extra deck. I don't know if it's a one of, if it's a none of, if it's a two of, if it's a three of. I know someone was saying one of the other Madolches that got reprinted more recently. Was it Chocolate? Or Chocolate? Or Princess? So I think it was the, 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 the one that was reprinted in Dual Overload. That's like, everyone was like, oh, you just want one of it. And then people were going like, no, you want three of it. So the price went from being like, like that one pound ish kind of mark, and then it's like bumping it to like two fifty, three, four, five, because people were obviously just buying your play sets of it because they were cheap. 
And then obviously people were like, oh no, we, we need to set our prices different. And then it was too late then. Invoked Macabre. Now I didn't realise this price had come right down, because last time I looked at this card, it was around about this point. I mean, I have one of these. I didn't pay this much for it. I think I paid like seven for it. Um, but yeah, price point is not ter... Damn, sir. Damn. Uh, cheapest thing is 10. Got a lot of Italians currently on here. Don't know if you Italians like your uh, invoked engine, but you got to love them. Yeah, I mean, so normally a one of in a deck. Uh, I've, I've heard people say occasionally two, but I think one is good more than enough. As the, normally, as you play, is going to be in a engine of a sort, so it won't just be its own thing. But there we go. And then Invert Macabre in Super Rare. If we can go down. Lots of Italians, lots of Germans, lots of Italians. One French. Hello? Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, first English is 80 cents in good condition. Um, so, yeah, if you just want a, a basic version, the, su the Super Rare, go for it. Good price. Even the Secret Rare is quite a good price. But, yeah, they aren't spiking as such compared to anything else. So it's not as though the fact they didn't get reprinted doesn't mean that they're uh, skyrocketing. Alistair, the Invoker. This is the Secret Rare version. Very nice. I'll just put mine away. If we can get mine out. Have a quick look at the differences. So I have a Super on hand. If we can see. That's why I always have terrible lighting. So let's see if we can actually get this a good, a good one. So there you go. There's Alistair Secret. No, there's Alistair Super. Sorry. Still not super. Oh, there's your secrets. There you go. Can we, can we get a... There we go. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Show you, boys. So, that's your difference in texture-wise. Um, cheapest in English is 180. That's not bad at all. Last time I looked at these on eBay, they were going for about 3 to 4. And then, like, you were jumping up to 6 and 7. Uh, even Alice, even the secret super rare Alistair's were like two or three pounds at the time. Um, cheaper than English. Try and avoid those. Let's try and get ourselves up. There we go. Get ourselves a near mint, a pound. Yeah, that's not too bad. Normally it's free off, so can we find ourselves a free off? Seller here. And we've got a place set in English. This is going to be issue. Looking for a place set, a place set, place set. There you go. First place set. Looking at fifteen pounds for your first place set. I normally say, like, obviously try and bulk order from the same person so you're not missing out on things, obviously, for postage process. So you're probably looking about 18 to 20 on postage, depending if you get it um, tracked. But yeah, so the difference between this, like, one pound, one pound, and then one pound, well, one twenty. It says place that only, so I don't think there is three, two other cards that he hasn't put up there. But yeah, um, like, even though this is three pounds, it's probably going to cost you two pound to postage. It's still cheaper than what the other one is, is offering the first place set, so there we go. Number oh did I do this properly? I did this wrong. Number S thirty nine. Utopia, the lightning. It has quite a few different rarities, so we're gonna go through them. This is ultimate rare rarity from OTS pack four. Yeah, if you get if you can get your hands on some OTS packs, like just crack them open, see what you can find. Quite a few of the OTS uh, it's not something you need to worry about. Might have to do an OTS um, okay, OTS uh, price card at some point. I've done one of those for a few few weeks. English, there you go. First English, if there's American English, is 25. You only play one of in a deck. It's also a looking card. If you want to have like max rarity, this is your max rarity. Then you have your, is this super? Super rare from Dark Illusions. Currently in English, lots of Germans, few Italians, few Italians. First English, 445. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Number 39, Utopia the Lightning, yet again, in Secret Rare. Mmm. This is the one I have. I got very lucky. I had a legendary collection from the Misses on Christmas a few years ago. Um, pulled this from one pack, and then from another pack, I pulled a ultra rare uh, Ash Blossom, and I was like, oh! <gasps> all this value from this one box and then I never sold it and I, they're not worth as much but they're still kind of cool so I think like all the things I pulled out of it are still worth the box so it's not too bad lots of Germans first English is looking at 450 near mint front excellent back I mean not many people are going to look at the back so that's down to you 
before we get our first proper. There you go, see what five quid. So yeah, looking at five pounds for the super rare, a uh, secret rare. Sorry, so that's not so bad. Um, Pump wanters. You should have no. Oh no, it does actually have the. Uh, oh okay, all right, all right. I stand corrected. I apologize. So, but there, they're going to be all in English. Um, yeah. So you're looking around about the minimum of eight, really. If you're into your, let's say, promos or collectibles, something maybe to look into. And then Cross Sheep. So uh, our good friend, Mr. Cross Sheep, was a rare. And since the announcement of what's coming out now, as I think it was like last Friday, which would have been the... Was it the 9th? Was it the 11th? But yeah, Cross Sheep went from being like this really well-priced £8 card, like has been between like sort of 7 and 9 to 10 to 15. I think I did see it's probably 15 since like January. Was it February? When did this all come out? <laughs> it's been a long year. <laughs> but yeah, like some of these prices not too long ago, like literally a week ago, would have been like five, six pound. And yeah, people were like, hell, an ultra rare version is coming out really soon. I need to sell these as quick as I can now because they're now not worth anything. So, yeah, not everything always devalues from a set if it gets a reprint, especially if it gets a rarity reprint that's higher. But things that are good that are going to come out more consistently in a set that's probably going to have like a play set per box, your cross sheet that was like, like not even one per case. I opened two cases of this. No, not cases. I opened two boxes of this. One on the channel. Did I open one on the channel? No, I opened the secret supers. Yeah, so I opened two boxes of this. I didn't pull one from a, a box. I didn't pull one from the second box. I didn't pull one from the four special secret special special editions either. So yeah, like it was a very un it was a very short printed rare, which is quite unusual to be that short printed. And then last but not least, number C nine two. Heart, Earth, Chaos Dragon. So, I don't think it's used in anything, in all fairness. Or I don't think it's really much it could be used in. Besides maybe, like, Machine Index. Or possibly, like, as jokey uh, God decks, like, say, Sacred Beasts or um, uh, Egyptian Gods, just because they're all level 10s. Or, like, Metal Slime. But, yeah. So you're looking cheapest now is like ten cents. So it wasn't a massively expensive card. I think uh, ninety two can be quite expensive, but I don't think C ninety two has ever been that expensive. Although there's no price goes. There you go. So yeah, it's always been around about the cheap price. Look at eBay though. This card goes for like seven. Uh, goes for like three or four pounds because I don't think maybe people put it on eBay. But it's getting to be an older card. So probably the prices you see on there now are. From people who obviously haven't like really stayed for a long time, or they've been up there for so long at that price that they don't want to take them down. But the fact it's getting an ultra rare reprinting soon, the pro the cards don't not be worth anything extra, but at least you look nicer. But yeah, you're not you're not paying a lot for that. But that being said, I've been a great sweetly. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you guys soon. Peace out. You guys have yourselves a good Wednesday, and you shall come back tomorrow where we're gonna go over the price list of Battle Legends. Armageddon, as they have finally dropped. Some things are quite surprising, some things not quite surprising. Others, eh. See ya. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.